Today's video is all about protecting your RV investment by using a cover. So if you get into RVing, you know that it's a big investment. So it seems like a small stretch to spend a little bit more to pick up a cover to help protect that investment for years to come. Hi, if we haven't met yet, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. And you know, whether you're into RV camping or tent camping, we create videos to help you have a better camping experience. So let's talk about covering your RV. Hi, we live in a mountainous region that's home to the greatest snow on earth. So we don't have those crazy cold winters that get to sub-zero temperatures, but we do get a lot of snow. And in between those snowstorms, we get bright, high-altitude sunshine both of which can steal years from your RV's lifespan. We bought this trailer used. It was 15 years old, and you can see that over its lifespan, it was left exposed to the sun. You can see from one side to the other that there is UV damage. It just gives you an example of how much damage the sun can do to an RV. So as the trailer gets older, not only is it exposed to more UV radiation, it's harder and harder to keep those seals sealed against water. And we wanted to be very careful about preventing expensive and unnecessary water damage, which is why we looked at purchasing a cover to help protect our investment. So we looked at many different covers, but we decided to go with the ADCO Designer Series cover. It has this F SFS Aquashed protection, which means that the cover actually breathes to let moisture from inside out, but keeps any rain or snow, any of the water from coming in. And that was really important to us. Plus, it had really good reviews about the lifespan of the cover itself, that the cover would last season after season and help protect our investment for a long time. I'll leave a link in the description below for ADCO's website. So if you're interested, you can go there and check out all the details that I may not have covered in this video. So in the video, we'll, we'll show you some of the features and benefits of this ADCO cover, plus how easy it is to put it on and take it off. You know, you can do it with one person, but it sure is much easier if you do it with two. So what do you say? Let's get started. So get the cover out of the bag. Spread it out so the upside of the top is facing up. Fold the sides up and over the top. Find the front end of the cover. Loosely roll up the cover starting from the back and roll towards the front. Orient the roll as shown. Starting with the front end of the cover, pull it up with you as you climb the ladder to your RV. cover up to the roof, oriented right down the center. Start from the front and unravel or unfold the cover so that it starts to move over towards the side. Move yourself to the middle of the cover and you're actually going to be on top of the cover. Now use caution to push the sides over. Carefully work your way to the back, pushing the sides over as you go, leaving the corner with the ladder last. Climb down the ladder, pulling the last corner of the cover with you as you go. All that's left to do is buckle all the straps and cinch them tight.
Other nice features of this ADCO cover are its attractive design, it has zippered access panels, front and back, and it has air vents for additional ventilation. Putting the cover on and taking it off are relatively easy, but taking it off is much more fun because that means... We're going to uncover the RV, which means camping season is just around the corner. We're so excited! Everything's getting real now. You know, getting into RVing can be a considerable investment. So it seems like a small stretch to spend a little bit more to pick up a cover to help protect your RV for years and years to come. So I hope you got some value out of today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe so you're subscribed to our channel so you're notified when we release other camping related videos. I'm John and we'll see you on the next adventure. Okay, there you have it. It looks like a ginormous sleeping bag. But as you can see, I did it by myself, so you can do it too.